Greetings. Uh, the State of the Company for 2011 uh, video this year will be significantly shorter as it's uh, just impossible for me to cover all the details for all the companies and I'm just going to barely scratch the surface in this video. Um, I strongly suggest watching last year's uh, Company of the Video, uh, the State of the Companies for 2010, uh, just to see how much has changed in 360 days. Um, it's like I said, it's a little bit longer than uh, this year's, but um, well, nonetheless, it's uh, kind of interesting. Uh, the year has really flown. Um, I think that uh, everyone says that uh, everyone says that. And uh, the beginning, as I'm starting to get older, I'm starting to see how much uh, that that's true. Uh, every year just keeps flying by faster and faster and faster. Um, this year was a very big learning year for me. Um, I learned a lot of a lot of things, um, things that don't necessarily work, things that do work. Um, I'm starting to see how you can really make some money if you do the right things um, and how you can really lose a lot of money if you do the wrong things. Um, I've listened to the wrong people, I've not listened to the right people um, and that's what happens with uh, with as, as, you're not, you know, as you're an entrepreneur you, you kind of have to find out who to listen to uh, for guidance and then sometimes you just have to make your own decisions um, and that's what I'm starting to realize that sometimes the decisions that I make is actually better than what uh, advice I get from other people. Um, we have had some staff transitions uh, over the course of this year if you want to see uh, what staff uh, members left, uh, what staff members are new I suggest checking out uh, benplicker.com by the end of this week, we'll have a total of uh, 24 employees. Uh, while this is exciting, it's also pretty overwhelming. Um, during my 2010 State of the Companies, I made a comment, uh, not sure what other business opportunities will be around the next corner. Um, wow is all I have to say about that. I had no idea I'd be blessed with a total of three more commercial properties uh, valued over $2 million, and uh, one of those being uh, a hotel. Uh, I purchased the commercial properties in Fort Wayne, both fully rented and currently making money. Um, they are both strip malls, and I think that I have uh, 14 or 15 new tenants. I'd have to go look at the actual number to find out for sure, but that's very, very, very exciting. Uh, if you search my YouTube channel for some videos of uh, 916 or 3211 or 3209, uh, you'll discover the properties, and you can take a look at what, uh, what kind of tenants are in there and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm very excited to have these in my portfolio. The third property is Brook Point. Um, I'll kind of give you a little bit of history on Brook Point. I wasn't really planning on buying Brook Point. Um, Brook Point, uh, Faye Medlock, uh, Faye and Bryce have been customers of Benson for several years. And uh, they were just inside of the office the other, um, this was probably in March or April or May, something like that. And I, I just quickly went up to Faye and I said, so Faye, wh what is your plan of attack? Um, you know, how are you going to work there forever or, you know, what, are you gonna, do you have a retirement plan in place? And uh, uh, she kind of basically says, uh, she came up to me like this and she says, why do you want to buy it? <laughs> and uh, it just, and I said, well, I don't know. I don't even know what you're selling. And uh, it was just kind of very interesting how that whole thing uh, came about. Uh, it's very exciting uh, property. It's an excellent shape. Um, it definitely needs some work uh, in some places, um, but mostly in the, in the aspect of occupancy rate. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but uh, most of the employees by this point in time already know uh, the history and details on Brook Point. Um, but um, I definitely am very nervous about uh, this property, and especially until um, May when summer hits. Um, as an ex as an ex it, is, it is a very expensive place to run, and uh, they have a very low occupancy rate. National average occupancy rate is about 63 to 65 percent, and uh, Brook Point does right around 21 to 22 percent occupancy rate. That is very, very, very low. Um, I will have to keep things pretty lean until May when I hope to hire a full-time manager and a second shift manager. Uh, I actually just kind of make that uh, a, a more of a known position um, because I realistically don't have the time nor the energy to manage the place. Um, but I, like I said, I have to wait. Um, in the summertime, business is really, really good. Um, the wintertime, it's not so good. They went four days last week with zero guests. Um, I hope to never have that as a problem, um, but it's going to take some time for me to turn that around. Um, goals for this year have been simplified um, as I had two aggressive goals uh, last year. I wish I actually had my paper printed out on my door, but I don't. Um, I just uh, I just didn't hit very many of my goals last year at all, and I think that they were just too um, too aggressive and just not enough cash to be able to accomplish those those goals. 
So I'm simplifying uh, the goals this year so I can really concentrate on the companies uh, that I currently have and making money with those companies. Um, for a while I've been trying to grow and buy and grow and buy and grow and buy. And I, and I think that you can really make some money there, but I also think that you need to um, make quite a bit of money with the existing businesses that you have. Um, so my two primary goals to, uh, for all companies, um, the first is for all companies to be profitable uh, for all 12 months. And uh, the second is to increase sales with all companies. So, and I think that realistically those, those two goals are very, very accomplishable. For each of the companies, I've set out those goals separately. KC Online, we have already announced this goal. Um, if you don't know this by now, um, you, you should probably know this. Uh, we're going to grow additional 500 wireless subscri subscribers by the end of 2012. We plan to do this in several different ways, but mostly by targeting our existing customer base, cross-selling, and targeted direct mail. We also plan to make our core network uh, more redundant. Benson, I'd like to add 150 new uh, computer maintenance customers. We currently have about 315, and that's taken us uh, two and a half years to get. Um, I think by adding 150, I think that realistically is a very, very, very good goal. Um, I plan on doing this by advertising, or putting more money in our advertising budget, uh, considering Benson hasn't advertised um, in pretty much 10 years. Um, so we're, that's going to be a whole new uh, thought process for us. Um, in order to meet this goal, we'll have to have a sign up uh, about every other business day, which is really in line with what we're doing now. Uh, Brookpoint uh, current occupancy rate is around 21%. I'd like to have this around 40 by the end of the calendar year heading into 2013. Um, I will get that up a lot higher than that, uh, probably by 50% 50, 50 by 2014, uh, or I should say by 2013. Uh, we'll have that probably around 50%. I plan on doing this by targeting businesses and letting them know we exist because believe it or not there are people that have lived in this town in Syracuse for over five years and they don't know that there's a hotel in Syracuse. That is the biggest problem that Broke Point has. Um, I plan on implementing a computer system and linking it to the GDS system, which the GDS system is a uh, network of computer uh, computers that link systems like uh, Hotels.com and Bookings.com and Travelocity.com. Currently, right now, if you go and type the zip code of 46567, you will not find uh, Broke Point. Um, and now I'm hoping to implement that system by the end of January. Fort Wayne Property Holdings, I plan on to save, uh, save up some money in this company and uh, purchase a property outright, which will hopefully snowball and allow me to be able to purchase other properties and other properties and other properties. Uh, as I'm starting to learn some of the secrets to properties, it boils down to ownership and not paying interest. While interest is a cost of doing business, I can move a lot faster if I don't have that cost. Um, just one of those things that, uh, you know, when you just have to borrow money and, you know, kind of make the business work with no experience, that's just one of those things you, you learn. Um, with U4, I plan to double our VoIP business, and I think by adding at least one other sales agent, we can accomplish this goal. Wawasee Plaza, my main goal this year is to maintain our occupancy. Uh, Wawasee Plaza has a great occupancy rate. I think right now we only have uh, three offices that are empty, and that's great. Uh, if we had another tenant, that'd be great, like I said, but uh, maintaining it would be really, really in good shape. So I really want to thank everybody. Uh, what a job well done you've done this year, the sacrifices you've made for me, and I, I really, really will be expecting a lot out of you over this next year. Um, I really want to make the companies grow to the next level, and by that it means that I will be expecting you to do more than what's necessarily in your job description um, to step up and get those tasks done. So like I said, we've made some great decisions, some not some good decisions, and uh, many great life lessons have been learned. So once once again, thank you very much for everything that you've done for me, and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful 2012.